Welcome back to the Nerdiverse, I'm Danny. I'm Chang. And here we are then, episode two of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, excited to get into this one. Um, just a quick note, by the way, guys, you probably heard us in the last episode going, are we, in the, are we supposed to watch this? Are we supposed to watch it in this order? So we just did our research, like we said we were going to do, and everybody similarly felt the same, but we are watching it in the right order, and hopefully everything that gets explained in this episode. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, apparently it kind of just threw us in in a sort of flash forward for the first episode, and now we're going to go back into the actual backstory and stuff. But yeah, I don't know why they did it like that. That's a bit of a weird like design choice for me not not a fan of that but i guess if they cover everything now it should be fine so yeah i'm excited to jump into this one hopefully it'll actually explain the world and the characters and what's actually going on <laughs> yeah <to> me. <laughs> I mean, you mean basically to stop us going quickly throughout the last episode going are we supposed to are we supposed to be yeah. here? <laughs> What's Should alchemy? We what... uh, who are these military people? Who's Roy? Who, who are yeah. these Elric brothers? Why is that why, the stash guy taking his head? top off? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah there's so many questions that didn't make sense. So hopefully this episode does explain everything. So yeah, you good to jump in? Yes, I am. So let's do this then in three, two, one. Let's go. One, let's go. Oh, there we go. Straight away, they're already telling us about <laughs> how alchemy works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can't create something out of nothing. It's all about equal exchange. Okay. I mean, that's just alchemy in general. Yeah. Like, story. Yeah, yeah. these so two decided the to use that. Is the taboo. Right then, here we are. Okay. So is this back in the present or the past now? It still looks like kind of in the present. Yeah. So I'm guessing they're investigating other people who seem to have uh, done alchemy without any sort of exchange. Yeah. Are they looking like for the Philosopher's Stone or something? Yeah, it sounds like the Philosopher's Stone is the target at the moment. I'm guessing that probably does something like lets you. Oh, it's getting explained now. Ah, they wanted to get his body back, right? Okay. Yeah. The first day <laughs> would be nice if we had that. Here we go. Episode. Then ten years ago. Ten years ago. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing that dad was an alchemist. Yes. It's pretty cool. Well, what are they exchanging for it? I don't actually know. It didn't sit, look like they did exchange, so well, it might have been a book or something, maybe. I don't know. I'm guessing they accidentally stumble upon a book that has the... Uh, mm. One they use the human. Oh, the mum passed away. Oh, that's a bit good. Where is their father then? Is their father already dead? Did this? Uh... No, I think they said that the dad is a famous alchemist or something. So I'm guessing he's probably out like working. Oh yeah, he's saying if dad comes home. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we're going down this route, are we? <laughs> mm. Dad's not around, so he's not our dad. So we hate him. I wonder if he'll show up in the story. I don't actually remember anything about that, Dad, so I'm very interested in that. I have a feeling it'll be end game kind of moments where they meet their dad, maybe, like the end of it all, towards that end. But... Possibly. There's Winry, another new character. Those graves are a bit in a random places, aren't they? Why are they not? Yeah, like I know, places? right? What they the just kind of place randomly. <laughs> So I'm guessing they're like childhood friends then. Yeah. So I'm guessing. Oh yeah. Okay. I was wondering, do they were they looked after by someone? But looks like. Is that their grandma or is it her grandma or something? Or is it just like someone, an elder in the village or something? Yeah, it's just some random mate they picked up on the way. <laughs> it's like oh, I have you as a grandma now. Yeah, 
It's definitely got a very westernised feeling to it, though. Hundred percent. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, like all of the names, I think, are pretty much westernised. Yeah, and even the landscape, everything is westernised landscape. So. Yeah, true. I'm guessing it is her grandma. Kind of feels weird, doesn't it, watching so westernised? Oh, there's the armour in the background. Yeah, it is. It feels weird watching some westernised in, like, Japanese. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, Sorry. God. Now, this is where it begins, then. Their research into it. Uh, so they were trying to revive their mother. Oh, God. Who the hell was that? I'm not sure. Going down a dangerous path, but then, then, but then again, there was no one to stop them, though, or to tell them that it was wrong, or it could be true, a problem. True, true. They were just kids that were trying something, do you know what I mean? Oh, no. Well, here's the fateful night, then. It must be. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't look sinister whatsoever. I know, right? Big red, like... Fucking Moment. fish lens or whatever on the house. <laughs> is this like everything that they need, isn't it? A human is built up. I'm guessing this is like what makes up a human, isn't it? Yeah, true. I wonder what they got wrong then. Did they get something wrong, or did, or did they do it right? And and that's the cost of it. I don't know. Maybe something to do with equal exchange, like what's the ex what's the value of a soul in uh, Made in Abyss oh, terms? God. What's going to happen here then? It's just going to completely fry the guy's body or something. And plus they're doing forbidden alchemy here, so... Yeah. Oh, yo, what the hell? What's the... Oh! Oh, dear. Oh! So that's how we... Right... Oh, but his brother gets completely caught. Oh my god, mate. What the... F this is messed up. <laughs> yep. At least now you have some context. <laughs> Who the heck is that? Isn't that, um... The man god from... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <Tensei>. yeah. <laughs> Wait, 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 what's this? What was that tree? What the? That eye is creeping me out, man. <laughs> oh. So is it like saying that they trapped his body or something? I don't get it. I don't really understand. I'll show you the truth. I'll show you the truth. Oh, yo, what the hell? Is he taking him through time? Maybe. All the information in the world. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. Tell you what, what a freaking start, though, man. <laughs> See, this should have been the proper start, not being thrown in the middle of something and not knowing what the fuck was going on. <laughs> no, I don't mind it. It's quite an impact now, because it got me intrigued to want to know how it started, I suppose. That's probably a good way of looking at it. Well, that was messed up, whatever it was. Oh, so there Very were no errors, but he was missing something, and that's where the stone's coming in, maybe. Oh, was that what he got in exchange for his uh, leg and arm? Yeah. Okay, so it seems that this thing has claimed his body part. Yeah, so sacrifice. can this thing live or something afterwards? Because, like, it's just claimed a part and swapped it into him. Hmm. Okay, so he only lost his leg from that. Uh, does he go and put his arm back in, though, here now? 
I think I remember why he loses his arm. Oh man, this is so emotional, man. He lost his brother basically like this. Oh, what, what the oh, freaking hell is that? God, what the fuck is that? I'm guessing that's his mom or... No, it's not. Oh my God, I bet it is. I bet that's the it trade was... they made and, and it did work, but it didn't work, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it wasn't enough value, so it wasn't enough complete like transmutation. Oh my God. They traded basically Alphonse... Oh my god. Yeah. I'm guessing as he's a child, it's probably not the equal value of an adult or something, maybe. So how does he get put into the armour then? You're about to watch it now. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go then. Oh, this how he trades his arm then to go to like Yeah. For his soul, I'm guessing, or something. Yeah. Mate, these guys, considering they were ten by the look of it here, ten and eleven. Like, yeah. Christ, mate. The things that they've gone through at 10 and 11. Mental. Like, just imagine that yourself, though, going through that at that age. Holy I know, God. right? <laughs> but at that age, you don't even comprehend what's really going on. I know, but then seeing your brother just disintegrate, gone. Not there anymore. Oh, it's mad. Yeah. I want to know how they became selected to be, like, pretty popular alchemists by the looks of things. And hmm. Did they just train and train and train, maybe? I'm guessing the backstory is probably going to show a bit more of it. I hope. But... Yeah, at least we've got the origin now, so now you at least know why and how. It's you know, fun. It's absolutely. It's so dark, now. mate, to see it. That, like when you watch it, you go, yeah. "Oh wow!" Oh, here oh, we go. Here four, we go. Years four years later years from later. that moment, then. Okay, so he was the one who found them. Oh god. Oh boy. They seem annoyed, man. He seems really annoyed right now. Well, they did the forbidden alchemy, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh... At least it worked, but wow. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, so he affixed his soul into the armour. Is he going to show his lack of arm and his lack of leg? I mean, <laughs> can't you see it? <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know if this guy's no noticed it properly yet or not, though. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh. God, no, she, she saw it. Found them. <sighs> They're gonna want to do it though because they want to reverse the what happened. Hmm. So that's their ultimate goal in this entire. Well, at the moment, anyway, unless that goal gets realised shortly into. But I'm assuming the whole thing is about them trying to. Fix the body. Yeah, I'm guessing that's their goal now is to save Al and get his body back. Mm. I wonder if the I wonder if the live action is any good or not. Huh? I wonder if the live actions are any good or not. Might be worth checking those out after it all as well. I've heard they weren't very good. I heard it just felt like cosplay or something. I saw a lot of complaints about it. But ah, right, okay. I don't know why they were good or bad. I think I might have watched one years ago. I can't remember what I thought of it. God, imagine seeing a live action of someone losing their entire body and then losing their leg and arm. I know, Ooh. right? I mean, to be fair, we've watched The Boys, so it can't be worse than that. <laughs> True. 
Man, he looks broken. Edward looks completely broken. Yeah, I know, right? Hmm, will they meet again? I'm assuming they do. He seems to have regained spirit, though, like his older self where he is now. Yeah. He seems to have regained it. Well, I think that was the day, wasn't it? That he seemed to sort of regain his spirit a bit. Oh, was this the day that they left or something? Okay. Is this how he gets the metal arm and leg? Yeah. Is that their auto mail thing that they make in their shop. Oh, <laughs> why do I learn their fucking lesson? I really <laughs> dread, by the way, this story because I just, in my head, have this awful mm. feeling that he's going to trade his life for his brothers or something. Oh, I just, I, I don't know why I have that, but right now I've got <laughs> that in my head. I feel it's kind of uh, a bit stupid. They're like. Well, they did human alchemy and they kind of fucked everything up. So they're going to probably try and do more human alchemy, right? Like, yeah. Does that count as human alchemy about. to try and bring, bring his body back? Like, that, that's what I'm worried like about, though. Idea. Ah, so he didn't get to see all that then as well. Oh, is this like going to be where the brothers become alchemists or something? Potentially, yeah, it looks that way. Oh, there he is. Indeed. He's probably one of the youngest alchemists, isn't he? That, yeah, <laughs> well, look at the others. <laughs> I know. Brad. <laughs> Ah, so he has to pass an exam to get in then. Yeah. Could not many of them do it without it then, it seems. Yeah. I'm not sure why he can do alchemy. With a... Is it because of... Um, he went through that... It was because of the past... knowledge he gave Yeah, the knowledge that guy gave him. Basically, I'm assuming he gave him yeah. all the knowledge of how to do it. Whoa, okay, calm down, Edward. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, what are you trying to do? I mean, he is raising a solid point, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think he realises how good this guy is at fighting, though. I don't think it's that simple for him to be assassinated. True. Like, his skill, <laughs> look, there you go. That, there we go, absolute proof. Like yeah, <laughs> he cut so fast that no one even saw it. <laughs> the way he just did that, and no one <laughs> even knew what had just happened. Like, wow, that is mental. <laughs> the guy seems like a badass. Your typical anime old man leader, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like um, oh god, you know, Jiraiya in freaking Naruto for age is like just a big badass for like a wise man, until one day, the youngster overcomes. I guess he passed the exam then. Yes. Well, we know that he passed the exam because we got the spoiler episode one, didn't we? <laughs> True. I like the way they've done it though. They've kind of like, I feel like I know what's going on a little bit now in terms of, this, uh, I know the game, I know why it ended up the way it has. So nah, I don't, I don't like how they did it. I, I think this should have just been episode one. Like, it, w it would have just made everything make more sense. Depends how you like stories though, mate, because I don't mind it this way. Well, just imagine if it was like the first episode and you had to wait a week for this. You'd just be like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> like... Yeah, but imagine... Imagine seeing Darth Vader being really villainous and evil and not knowing how Darth Vader became the way he did. I mean, I don't know. Because like, <laughs> like that's... that's the same thing. I do. I know what you're saying. Like, well, nice it's thing, not, but... because you fucking started the story from Luke's perspective, from fucking starting out on fucking Tatooine on the farm. But how did Luke... Who was Luke's father, really? 
I didn't mind it. I like the way they've done it now, but I can see the no. second episode is I quite like the way they've done it. I think that was an awful fucking decision. It just caused so much confusion. You say it was good, but at the same point, for all the whole episode, we're both just saying, are we missing something? Like, yeah, but it's, it's called intrigue, though. I'm curious. I want to know I now. I that was intrigue. That was just fucking bad confusion. Like, I don't know. I feel like it added no fucking value, except for just confusion, but... I don't know, that's just me. I thought that was a lot better episode. It, at least now we actually have like the origin and we actually understand what's going on. I feel like this should have been the first episode. But, yeah, what did you think of it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I think it was really nice to see. Uh, it's quite emotional to see, actually, that freaking hell, that's how it actually happened. That's how it's... Pretty horrific, right? <laughs> yeah, Christ, man. Like, talk about, like, right, there you go. There's no niceness happening here. This is just as brutal as it is. It's as real as it is. That's happened. Move on. Like, yeah. I'm hoping we figure out more about what the fuck's going on with um, that man-god-looking thing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm intrigued. I remember it. always being confused about that when I originally watched it. And I'm, it probably gets explained, but I didn't really fully comprehend it. So, yeah, yeah maybe now when watching it again, like I'll, I'll be able to actually understand what what that is but I'd say from the first time of being here I still have no clue what's going on <laughs> but I'm super excited yeah, for more though I, I think it's a really nice two first episodes in my opinion so I'm, I'm definitely excited for more of this um, mm. I think it'd be good I uh, definitely think I can see what the intrigue is and why people get hooked into it I can see why because like you want to know like do they ever find a way to do it does it end up being worse what else is going on because you got that crazy woman in the first episode where you're like oh god what's going to happen with that because she seems like she's got a big plan up her sleeve of what she's trying to do um yeah yeah there's a lot of crazy stuff going on which is great and i'm hoping we get now now it'll probably be the slow approach of reintroducing some of the characters we saw in the first episode and explaining who they are and what they do and um yeah why they're hopefully going to be beloved and all that sort of stuff so yeah i'm excited for more um what did you anything else extra from you or are, you, or are we all about there uh, not really, no. I'm excited to see uh, where the series goes next. Sweet. Well, let us know in the comments what you all thought and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, like I said, there's two places you can see this. If you want to see it early, you can go on Patreon and see it early. If you want to wait the four weeks, then you can and it'll be on YouTube. So, uh, yeah. Either way, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Cool. Cheers, guys. Bye.